Good morning everyone. This is Tanya from AAE Glass. Great to see everyone, so to speak, on this month's Saturday video. Just a couple things I want to touch on. Last um, month was our first month of the Saturday video. It was, the feedback was fantastic. Um, we, we thank you so much for all of your orders. They, they were, there were so many of them and we were so excited and um, we didn't know what to expect and everything was good. So from a business standpoint, this is fantastic. It makes me think the more I show you guys, the more you'll support our company and we so appreciate it. Um, so we have alerted manufacturers now every time that I'm going to do a video and so we won't have such a shortage of things. Um, but on that note, thank you to everybody. And um, so this is kind of a cool thing. John's zeroing in on this. I absolutely love this. This is my fish wall hanging. I literally just came up with it four days ago. We're doing master sandblasting classes at my place, so we're totally crazy right now. 16 people every day for a class, but that's here nor there. So this is um, a surface texture technique that I kind of came up with, and I love the results. I'm not a big fan of the contour fusing. Contour fusing is when it's not fully melted, it's around 1400 degrees, and it has some texture to it. Only as an artist I'm not a big fan of it. I've seen some great contour work. Um, I really like the thick stuff and you know I like to do a lot of layering and things. So for me this was out of my comfort zone, but I love it, okay? What I want to show you is, John's gonna get a close up right here. If you can see that that's, this is glass, I kind of made my own paint, paint of uh, glass with some surface techniques, surface texture stuff, and it, it almost looks like it's rock or grainy. Um, can you get in there and see that? It's just so cool. I love it. It's very earthy looking, um, very textured, so I'm going to show you how to do that with and without. And then as you can see the fish, that's just oh so neat. And as you can see the gold in here, um, how controlled the gold metallic is. And I'm going to show you a really go good tool for that. So um, then we've got like this nice frit blend down here. But really this is a tr very tricky schedule. I think that uh, full fuse, you can pretty much figure that out no matter how thick you're going. Um, but the contour, you know, how much do you want it to be texturized? You know, you, you, you don't want sharp edges. So I am giving you guys a schedule that I use for this. Um, and this was in a 29 inch clam shell kiln. So you probably have to tweak it a little bit. Um, you know, if you like it a little bit more melted in, you would go high, you would hold longer at your top temperature. And if you like it a little more raised, you would pull, you know, you would hold less or drop your temperature 10 degrees start there. So, but you'll start with mine and let's get going. Um, by the way, guys, I your emails were so fantastic and wonderful, and thank you for your support, and, and thank you for saying thank you, and I, I'm enjoying doing this, and it's been a success, so I'm going to come up with something awesome every month. So keep me giving me your emails, everybody. I like to hear what you think. Of course, if, you're, if it's a bad email, you just get deleted, so <laughs> ha ha, okay, maybe, maybe not. You wouldn't know, would you? But So I, lo I love the positivity, but thank you, everybody. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Of course... This is just, you don't have to do exactly what I do. Pick your own colors, but I'll show you exactly how I made this one. Um, and I also did a little variation yesterday because I'm really liking the texture. This was a Christmas kind of thing that I did. I haven't slumped it yet. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but you can see they've got the snowflake designs here. Um, and then it's got that grainy. Can you get that, John? That grainy kind of silvery texture. This is a mix, guys, of the Unique Glass Color Paints. I'm really, really into them. It's a great product, and the price is right, and they never dry out. I love them. I know we did some of the Unique Glass Colors last month, but I think we should just keep on going with those. Okay, so I started with a 10 by 10 of Bullseye Black Double Rolled, and I love rolled edges on Bullseye Glass, and I think it works well with this kind of plaque. I've actually decided to do a three-part series with the fish platter and hang that in my guest bathroom upstairs, so I really love the, the rolled edge. Then what I'm going to use is, this is a piece of Bronze Irid, of course also by Bullseye because we're Bullseye Kiln Glass Resource Center, so we only carry Bullseye. Um, you can you do this, of course, everybody, with our, any kind of glass you'd like. Now this is a transparent, okay, and that will help us later and you'll see why. But this is a transparent glass and it does have an irid coating. It does not have to have an irid coating. You can just use plain glass, um, but again, it's going to be on a black base, so 
um, you want to pick like a dark, a very dark transparent, not a light one, and you'll see why in just a second. First thing I'm going to do, enter the etching stickers. These are really cool outline stickers that are upside down right now, but you want to go ahead and pull these off. We have, I believe it's got to be at least, I don't know, 70, 80 options of designs. More than that. John's giving me more than that, so he's saying. So 100 designs maybe. So just your imaginations can... Use your imagination and you're going to see what uh, you can do. But um, So the stickers are normally $2.95, but for the 72 hours that the video is up, we are going to do $1.95, $1 off for all the sticker designs for three days only. So get them while you can. So we're going to take this plate and we're going to design it with fish stickers because we're doing the fish plate. So notice I've got some, a little bit of the sticker hanging off the edge here. That will help me later. Um, but if you don't, I'll show you how to, to manage that as well. Okay, so we're gonna put just some fish going back and forth, making a little scene. And make sure your stickers are burnished down. Take your finger and run them right down. The stickers are made of three mil um, vinyl. So they're, they're very sturdy. And as you can see, there's open parts right here um, and that's that's what we want. We don't want a solid sticker. We want to get that detail. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this and I'm going to be back with you in just a few minutes when I'm all done stickering up. Okay, so now we have our platter stickered up. Um, I would probably get a little bit more elaborate but for time's sake. We're just going to do it kind of basic, but use your imagination. Again, we have a hundred designs of stickers. These stickers right here, these could be suns, these could be moons, these could be bubbles for fish. Um, you know, you've got these lines. These look like seaweed. So I just kind of put them in a seaweed pattern on here. Guys, we've got snowflakes for Christmas. I mean, horse heads, mandalas, there's hot air balloons, anything you can imagine. Tons of sea life. So this, this is a really cool, a really, really, really cool technique that you could do with a lot of things for a plateware or um, just sculptures and things like that. Okay, so, and you know, feel free to use your craft knife. So like seaweed kind of comes to a point at the top. So I don't want to have a, like a blunt top because that's not really realistic. So I'm just going to take my craft knife and kind of point, cut the sticker a little bit and get a, a nice pointed seaweed top right there. You could do the same. Make sure your stickers are burnished down. Just kind of make it pointed. See, and just kind of make that look a little bit more realistic. Okay. Now, then next thing we're going to do is this is very, very important, my kittens. Okay. I see that your stickers are down. Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to apply paint to the top of this. And then after a paint dries, we're going to pull up the stickers and that gives us a nice outline design of the fish. So that's how I did that. It's very exciting, my friends. Okay. Very, very cool. Uh, the color, the, the coloring and the stone-like look we'll get to later, but that's what we're going to do. So you've got to know where your stickers are. You can't bury them, guys. If you take the paint and you slop it on over, which is my preferred method, by the way, you're going to bury your stickers. How are you going to see when the paint dries where to pick up your stickers with your craft knife, okay? So the reason why I use the iridized glass that's transparent is you can see the stickers from the back so when I'm stuck I can kind of flip it over and see oh I've got one right there or you can methodically paint you know take your time inside all the areas okay so let's kind of do both and, and see what you like but if you've got the stickers hanging off the edge a little bit you can just pull it up when the paints dry very important when you go to pull the paint up the stickers up the paint has got to be dry so take a blow dryer to it if you have to so we're going back to our trusty plate glass here. And what we're going to do is mix some paint. So this is the Unique Glass Colors paint that we used in the first month video. We're going to use it again. I just love the looks that we're getting with these. And, you know, some people, a couple of people, maybe two out of 8,000 of you, that's not too bad. It, you know, maybe two had some problems, you know, 10 or 15 emails. Some people, I don't, you know, what's the consistency? But we figured it out and everything was fine. That's So you just got to play with it a little bit. But your consistency, everybody, should be like heavy cream. The heavier, uh, the more opaque that the paint is, the, I'm sorry, the thicker the paint is, the more opaque it's going to, to draw, to, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? The more opaque it's going to look when fired. Thank you. Yeah, so I only get one shot of these videos, guys, so we... <laughs> You get to hear all my mistakes, too. Um, but anyways, if it's real thin, remember how we discussed that in the first video? If it's real thin and watery, 
when you fire it, it's the color is going to burn out or it's going to be a very, very, very thin color. So it says one to one, one part medium. I'm sorry, I'm assuming everybody knew that. This is the glass medium and then there's the paint and you have to have the medium in order to use the paint. So you just take a palette knife. We do have the palette knives in stock, everybody. We've got those now. And we've got the paints and Unique Glass Colors is ready for you. So they, if we get a crazy amount of orders like last time, we're, they're ready for us and they're gonna ship to us immediately. Like, and it only takes a day to get to us. So that's pretty awesome. So, but that's the consistency you want. It's a, it's a creamy, ooh, that didn't sound good. Like a heavy cream. Okay, so just add more medium if you need to, or more powder, just get the consistency right. Take your time to do that. Okay. We're gonna mix this up. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the camera while I mix up some more of this and then we're gonna dump it all over the glass, okay? Actually, we're not gonna pause. I just changed my mind, what do you think of that? I wanna show you how to, to do it um, in the stickers first. So now we have our paint. Okay, I've got a little mixing going on, that's fine with me. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a barbecue, a wooden barbecue skewer, and the best way to do it is, there's two ways you can do this, everybody. You can just put the paint and color the fish like this. So this is gonna take more time and that's okay. That's totally fine. If you are a painter, this is great to do also with younger kids or um, teenagers or, you know, just the whole thing is, whole darn thing is really relaxing. So if you just paint it in, in the recess areas here, you could do that, okay? Or, and just paint, I mean, you could get, think if you had the hot air balloon stickers, which I love, by the way. Um, I mean, you could just paint a flower, I mean, anything you wanted to do. I mean, this is just a fantastic technique. But we're gonna, for the time's sake, we're gonna do something kind of crazy here and we're just gonna dump okay and I'm gonna show you why because if, if John can get a close-up again of the tile here on top you would see see how it's kind of got a wash look to it it goes from copper to gold I just like that a lot so in order to do that I'm just gonna dump my paint now I'm taking my palette knife the paints gonna pull up a little bit because of the um, the metal coating on top the, the iridized glass the paint doesn't want to stick to that, and I like that. That's okay. Let's let the iridized glass come through, right? Because I'm sure some of you are going, oh my God, she's covering all of that iridized glass right now. I Trust me, it'll look awesome. You don't have to use iridized glass. You could just use transparent. Um, why am I not using opaque? I'm not using opaque, everybody, because if I get stuck and I need to see where to pull up my stickers, I can't look through a piece of opaque glass. So use transparent and use a dark color. And remember, your back is gonna be black for this project. Of course, it could be different colors, um, so that will darken it up. You don't wanna use light colors with this technique because you won't be able to get the nice dark outline for your selected sticker choice. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna finish the rest of this, but as you can see, I'm totally just taking the palette knife and just smearing it where I want color. So I've got a lot of area right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a contrasting color in there. I'll be right back, everybody. Okay guys, so now I have my paint pretty well covered here. As you can see, the gold stickers are sticking through. We've got some hanging out on the side over here. And then we've got a couple in the middle. If you guys bury them, if you bury your stickers um, you, and you can't find them, that's another reason why you wanna use that transparent glass as I said before, but how are you gonna pull them off? And here's the bad news. They do not burn off in the kiln. Oh, that would be so wonderful if they did. And you know I tried it, but it doesn't work. It leaves this terrible ghost image and this residue, it's just yuck. So unfortunately we have to pull them off. But um, this is the brass accent colors. That's the metallic that I just love. I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do with this, but you know, you can also just take it and kind of run it across your paint. Where's your left hand? I just got yelled at, no, I'm just <laughs> My camera guy directs me as we're doing this. Um, and the camera guy is John. You guys know who John is. He runs the Bullseye Resource Center and he's my husband. Okay. All right, but look, see, I'm just kind of adding some of the metallics in here to get kind of a cool look. I know it looks like a mess right now, but wait till you see how cool this gets. You know, you can take your palette knife and just kind of make some, you know, just kind of drag it, drag it through, drag some color, see, drag some color through. See, I like that. I don't want it to be so perfect. I want it to be artsy. Let's say the word artsy. That's, how, that's, that's the word I use whenever I make a mistake, by the way. I go, oh, it's artsy. Okay, anyways, so now we have this. Now, very important, the paint must 
dry. So you can give this about 30 minutes or you can do it Tanya's preferred way. Uh, you can blow dry it, which is much faster. Don't use a heat gun, guys. That will blister it. Okay, so I'm going to take this to my blow drying station, which is not here. Um, and you don't want to hear me blow dry anyway. And I'm going to dry this with a blow dryer. Okay, and notice how it's pretty It's pretty thick, guys. It's, it's pretty good. There's a little bit. I want to paint a little bit more of the fish right there. Okay, it's not real thin. How do I know it's not real thin? I cannot see my base glass underneath. That's a good, that's a good way to tell if you're too thin. Okay, all right, I'm going to blow dry this up and then we're going to get to um, some of the fun part. But I am going to leave a little bit of um, tackiness to this and I'm going to show you why. So I shall be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm pretty much well, uh, pretty much dry. I left some of it a little bit wet and I want to show you why. You can do this one of the two ways, everybody. You can dry the paint completely and then pull your stickers or you can do this kind of cool thing. Do you guys see that? It's like a grainy. I just absolutely, it looks like stone. I love it. I've, I've kind of been doing this for a while, but um, not, you know, with this kind of thing. I've just been doing surface, you know, uh, treatments to glass and trying to make it look like stone. I'm kind of obsessed with it, but you can see, uh, look how cool, you guys, I wish you could see this in person. You would love it. You would love it. Okay, so any of you local people, come on in and see this because this is in the shop and people have been asking about it all week, which I think is cool. So how do I get that grainy look? Enter Fine Frit, guys, okay? Fine Frit is the only Frit that's going to give you that nice texture. Of course, I've experimented. Coarse is too much. It looks like a blob. Powder's not enough to give it the grainy texture. And, and medium is just a little bit too large. And fine is just right. So I'll, what I've gotten here is some Woodland Brown. I've got some Carnelian, some French Vanilla. It's whatever I want it to be, okay? So I just kind of take the Fine Frit. This is the side of the paint that's wet, so I'm just kind of showing you what it looks like with and without. So this side will have no frit, just for the demonstration purposes, okay? And then we're just going to do this, okay? We don't want to kill it, and what that grainy texture is, guys, is the frit. Oh, I just love it. This is such a cool little thing. Okay, so we're going to dump the excess, okay? And you guys can, if John can get, get that... You can see it kind of looks like beach sand, you know, with the colors that we're using. And then we're going to take out this excess for it, and we're going to do what? We're going to throw it in the garbage. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to dump it into a cardboard piece of something and then dump it back into the jar. Or sweep it off the table, something. But we're not going to throw it away. We don't throw away any glass ever in life, do we? No. Okay. So... That's that. Okay, so now this is pretty well dry. Now comes the fun part. What you're going to do, I'm going to start over here. I'm trying to get my hand in the way. If you've got a sticker on the edge, I mean, well, look how convenient that is. You just pull it up, okay? So that's why I kind of like to do that. But sometimes you don't want like a half fish. You want a whole fish. So you just pull this up. Okay, now as this paint dries, it obviously loses its vibrancy. That's no biggie. It's going to come right back when you fire it. Pull this how cool is that? Now, it's, it's very um, chalky and flaky when it's dry, so you just, just blow it away, any excess, and there you go. So I'm going to pull these fish. How awesome. Now, what's cool about this is that you can see through the iridized glass through the line. So you could use cobalt blue, red, black. Black is a, is a great color to use because whatever color base glass you're going to use is going to be the outlines of your fish. So you wouldn't want to use something like, you know, white. You're not going to see that, okay? You want the dark contrast here. So again, this is, this is iridized glass and this is a lot of iridized glass we're covering. So I would really would do a lot more, um, you know, for design, but just for time purposes, I didn't have have the time. So now this is the frit part we're doing here. We're pulling these up. Oh, that one looks real good. That one looks real nice, baby. Yeah, look at that one. Woo, love it, love it, love it. I want some more of it. Okay, I won't quit my day job. Look at this, look at this, look at this. How fantastico is this? So the frit gives you the grainy, rocky, textured look after firing. But you don't have to use the frit, guys. you got choices here. And we use what kind of frit? I'm hearing you all scream, fine frit. That's right. Okay. So I'm blowing that away. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. Love it. Okay. So 
What did I forget, everybody? Because my confidant just told me I forgot the bubbles, guys. Another thing you can do, the bubble stickers I put down, um, is look underneath. So that was perfect. I, I planned that. What do you mean, John? That was planned. I wanted to show them. You can flip this over and you can see the bubbles are right here. One, two, three. So I have to go in there now and play the hunting game and pull my bubbles out. Don't fire them, guys, okay? So look at that. I nailed it on the first shot. I could, I'd love to tell you I do that all the time, but that's just not the truth. Okay, so here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Pull out your bubbles. Okay. So now we're going to do that. I have one more. I'm not going to hunt it. I just smeared it, but that's fine. Um, but anyway, so if you're going to do something specific like really tiny, like bubbles, just make sure that you don't cover them up. Maybe you want to be a little bit more nicer with the paint. Okay. I want to show you something else. Two more things, and then we got to go because this video is going to be like 40 minutes. It takes like five hours to upload, guys, to YouTube. And the reason why we do only put it on there for three days, um, many reasons. Um, one is video pirating, unfortunately, as AAE Glass and myself have gotten more popular. We've had problems with this. so um, And it's really just for you guys. So what we will do, though, is I've got so many emails. There's 12,000 people of you on my email list, and obviously the schedule is not going to coincide with everybody's schedule. We will do the video, a new one, and then we will replay it two weeks later. Okay, everybody? So we'll give you a second shot at it. We may run them throughout the year, but we'll do it that way. But this is really um, just for you guys, my email people, and my friends. Okay, don't ever freak out when I show you this. I think we need some accents here. Okay, so I've got the accent color brass. These are the metallics. We've got brass and platinum and gold. Enter my new favorite thing, which is this. It's called the Magic Fluid Writer. These come in two sizes. There's a regular size, and then there's a fine point size, just like that. Okay, what we're going to do is add some accents into this with these. Okay, we do have them on the site, guys. There's about a hundred of each right now. These do take about three weeks to get. So if we're out of stock, you've got to wait about three weeks. Put it on your wish list, and you'll be notified by email when it comes in. The wish list doesn't mean we automatically ship the items. That we don't do back orders like that. It's just crazy. You just can't do that with the amount of orders that we get. But you'll be notified when it's in. So we do have a hundred of these right now. Um, which I can tell you since last video, that's probably going to last about a day. But what this is, guys, is check this out. Okay. You take your barbecue skewer, you go into the metallics. Can you see that, John? Okay. Watch this. You're going to take the skewer and you're going to drop it into the little well here. Okay. Form a drop of the paint. Drop it into the well. It takes about six drops. Okay, and this is a water-based paint. These are really easy to clean. And these also come with these little cleaning plungers things. Don't lose these. I do all the time. Put them somewhere and not your junk drawer like I always do, and then I lose them. But they have like little pipe cleaners on the end. It's the only thing that fits in them. Trust me, I know. I've tried everything when I lost when I've lost them. Okay, form a drop, push it in there. Form a drop, drop it in there. Okay. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you on the black glass so you can see it very clearly is we're going to go in and add some accents into this. And of course, you're going to tap it. You guys, look. Tell me that's not awesome to sign your work. Tanya Vietz. Oh, we're so excited. And these are full fuse. This is the metallic line, so you can do this all in one shot, everybody, okay? Watch this. Oh, I think I need a little gold accent here. I'm going to come right up on my seaweed, and I'm going to put it in there. Hopefully with the glare, John can get this. It's so awesome. Oh my gosh, I love doing this. It's so fun. Okay, maybe I need a little eyeball for my fish. Boom, right there. I want to add some accents to my scales right here. Can you get it, John? Is it coming up? Okay. So then I want a little accent right here. Maybe I want to outline it. You know, it's. I don't want to outline everything because then it defeats the purpose of the iridized glass underneath. But look at little dots. And this is the brass color. You know, we've got gold, platinum. Um, and don't worry about, t this is just so fun. I'm just, I get so into it. Okay, and I can put my little initials down here in the shell. Tanya Viet. Great way to sign your work. So that's that. You just soak this cause, because the metallics um, are water-based. You can just soak the pen and then it's all good. So we have these and these are called the uh, f Fluid Writer and the Magic Writer. They will be underneath the supply category for the Saturday Supply video. So that's that. Okay, guys, moving on. 
Then you're gonna clean your black glass. You're gonna clean it. And it doesn't mean wipe it on your jeans like I do. <laughs> you're gonna use alcohol and then you're gonna clean the whole darn thing, okay? So once that's clean, I only have 40 minutes. So I'm rushing a little bit now because um, YouTube kind of puts the kibosh on anything longer than that. So then you've got this, you just put it on. I might glue it on there just so I, just with a little bit of hairspray or some glass tack just to keep it you know, nice for me. Then you've got this. In the original, we've got this really cool beachy kind of frit down here. So what I've done is I've taken an empty, empty jar of frit and I've added some amber, coarse amber. This is obviously whatever you want it to be. If it's, you know, the, the Christmas plate, I've got coarse amber here. What else do I have? Medium carnelian. Okay. I'm going to add a little pinch of woodland brown powder to dirty it up. Of course, when you use powders, you have your mask on, everyone, right? Just a dash of that. Okay. Um, I got some French vanilla in here. I got a big concoction in here and we want thick chunky stuff you don't want to do all fi fine's not going to do it for you the powder was just to dirty it up but we want coarse and medium more coarse guys okay take a water spray bottle spray it right into this container i know you guys got empty frick containers around we all do put the lid back on shake 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 your booty shake your booty i'm really shaking my booty right now which is <laughs> the truth <laughs> My poor husband. Okay. Anyways, so now we have this nice concoction. I want to put some water. I want more. I'm making a little kind of paste, frit paste, a little bit more. You'll see why. It's so much easier to uh, apply it. Shake, shake, shake. So when I did my Christmas little plate the other day, I did this blend. And this was Opaline Striker, Aqua Tint, Turquoise Blue, a little bit of white. But see how chunky it is? Kind of looks like candy or something, but don't eat it. Okay. Then I take my palette knife and I scoop it and I dump it. This is so fun. Scoop it and dump it. Yeah, I dumped a little bit on the, on the, uh, what is that? The canvas, let's call it. And that's okay. Let's leave it there. It's, it's supposed to be natural. I'm letting it hug up right around there. Da, da, da. Okay. Go as crazy as you want with this. You can go all the way up the sides. It's whatever you want to do guys do you love this or what this is so cute think of all the stickers that we're carrying think of all the designs that you can do you can change these colors up i'm gonna i'm really gonna get into this and i'm gonna do some more um i'm not traveling so much anymore i'm now i'm home so anybody local please come and see me and come and take a look at this live in action um i'm of course i'll be doing las vegas and please stay tuned for a special announcement I have something very, very exciting to tell you guys. I'm, I told John that we were gonna announce it live on the video to his dismay. So we're gonna, just give me two more minutes and I, I got something big to tell you guys. Okay, so now we have our kind of, you know, beachy, I don't know if it's beachy, it's more of a rivery kind of look, but, um, and that's that. You could add some little doodads. These are vitrograph stringers. That's a whole nother class, guys, but, you know, put some stringers around there. Some vitrograph kind of look like seaweed. I kind of used all my good ones on the last one, but you know, let it hug, let it be. Don't forget, you know, you can always go back in with your gold pen and add some more stuff. Sign down here if you wanted to. Tanya Viet, okay. 14, the years. Look at that, guys. This just fires on with everything 2013, else. 2013. 2013. Oh my gosh. John says 2013. Is that funny, you guys? I didn't even know what year it was. Um, by the way, ab about the fluid writers, stick with the metallics with these. They work the best. Don't try to put the paints through these because you'd have to really thin them out and then your color would be very dull. But yeah, these are like my new, I just love them. You could do, guys, oh my God, we could do so much. And then there's a fine one too. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that's it. Voila! So then we're going to put this in a kiln for a tack fuse, and then you're going to have this cool plaque, and you're going to hang it on the wall, or you're going to put it on a plate stand that I got from Michael's. And now, the most exciting news ever. I can't wait to tell you guys. A lot of my students know me as, you guys are just friends. We've been talking through email. I, I know so many, we've just made such great friends getting in this glass business, and a lot of you know I've been going back and forth with this with my husband for a while. And I swore I wasn't going to do it, but we've been trying for months now, and I'm very excited to announce that my first DVD just came out. Woo! 
Okay, so Extreme Fuse Glass Jewelry Volume 1 is available today. This is not anything to do with the webinars, guys. This is a full-length professional DVD. Um, it's Volume 1. There'll be six volumes total for you collectors out there, and each DVD will have five to six jewelry projects, and every single one will have something that no one's ever seen in classes. So this has holograph jewelry and the Picasso method, and there's a really funky one with water jet cut, and we do cold working, and I'm really excited. And look at that. Look at that right there. That's what hair and makeup does for you. Just so you know, I really look like that every single day. No, I don't. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Keep the emails coming. If you guys want to see something, start sending your emails because I'm sure I'll run out of ideas sooner or later. Thanks, everybody. Happy Saturday. Bye.